Hello, my name is Gary Stone and uh, I'm sure you're going to like this house. It's a four bedroom house with two bathrooms. It's got um, a single garage with a flat and then it's got two separate double carports uh, with gates on each side of the yard. Borehole, nice big yard. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the front view. Um, there's a pedestrian walkway going down the right hand side. There you can see a double carport and this is where the flat and the garage um, are. So the flat can easily be coupled to the single garage and uh, effectively becoming a big flat. I'll show you later. And then you've got your other um, entrance with your carport on the side and I think it's actually a bit bigger it's a, it's it's more than a double carport it's a triple it's a triple carport you can put in three cars here um, it's a it's a lot wider there you can see where the gate is um, so it's a lot wider I see there is a bit of rust um, yeah on the on the zinc it does need a bit of paint Let's go, let's go inside. You can see the op beams on the outside. Um, and this is now to the front door. Okay, so as you can see, there's a strong safety gate. There's a beautiful wooden door with a, with a wooden frame. You can actually see the pattern the pattern on the door. Then on the right hand side we've got a dining room but this is this is living area over here. Now what I was told is that every single wall in this lounge area is not parallel to another wall and that's what makes it acoustically a very good place for speakers and stuff like that. Not that I've got any knowledge on that. So then you've got your outside entertainment Stupiki, um, going out into your backyard. You've got your pool area. Let's walk around there. So your pool pump is on that side. You've got this garden space here with your bedrooms, all of them north facing, all four of them. And you've got this pergola I see there is a little bit of shade netting up here, but um, these grapes apparently are very delicious, this grapevine, and uh, I think they prune it once a year. You can see the tile roof, uh, very neat. It looks like it's in very good condition. The drink pool, I think it's fiberglass, and it's looking in very good condition. You can see it's nice and clean. There are beams, as I mentioned before, you can see the chroma deck gutters. So that's also nice condition. My wife says nice is not a word to use. It's not a, not a word, descriptive word. So you must forgive me. Okay, so the other thing that I didn't point out is you've got these high um, ceilings made of beautiful wood okay so now we're going through to the dining room so what i didn't mention just now was this beautiful chandelier it's right in your entrance foyer so you've got a service passage a service wall that uh, blocks off all your bedrooms which goes down this passage there's the front door and we're coming back here to the dining room so well, you can use it for anything. It's a, it's a second lounge at the moment, um, but it's right next to the kitchen. That's why I'm calling it the dining room. It's uh, south facing. Yeah, we've got our kitchen. So you can see it's got granite, look-alike melamine tops, um, but it's very neat. It's got solid wooden cupboards and place for a washing machine um, over there and uh, there is a 
There is a laundry outside. When I say washing machine, I mean a, a dishwasher. So a place for your dishwasher, it's got the double zinks there, hot water, and then we've got our kitchen door. So we go out of the kitchen door. So you've got this open patio area here, which is completely separate from the entrance. And here's your laundry. So it's got a laundry area over here. And let's finish the house and I'll come to the flat afterwards. So you've got this door, it's a sliding door, which you can close the kitchen off. You've got this passage, which I've showed you earlier. And let's just start on the right hand side. So you've got a guest toilet, neatly tiled, with a guest bathroom, with a shower, and a bath, and a basin. Neatly tiled. And then you've got your linen cupboards over here. And we go through into the main bedroom. So the main bedroom you can see is very spacious. There is a bracket. There is a air conditioner. Place for your TV above in your cupboards here. And uh, then you've got your ensuite. So shower, basin, toilet. Another bedroom. You can see there's two single beds in here, right next door, you know, next to each other. Um, just shows you the size of the room. It's a built-in cupboard there. You can see there's a beam zone that activates as we walk past. So a third bedroom, also with built-in cupboards down the right hand side. This one's got blinds. So double bed up against the wall, yeah. Lots of space still for a table and a, ch and a chest of drawers. Um, I see there is a little bit of paint peeling there on the ceiling. So then this door goes back to the dining room and this is the passage again. We've got the passage and then this is the fourth bedroom. Uh, currently used as a study and probably rightfully so a study because it hasn't got built-in cupboards but it's very spacious. I mean easily put in a set of built-in cupboards over there. So as promised let's go back and look at the flat. Okay so just for, for reference on the right hand side here, that's way back to the lounge and here's the dining room and we're going to go through the dining room out of the kitchen. Okay, so this first door over here, it goes into the garage. So this is your garage. It's got a window on the right hand side here. It's got your garage door and it's got a ceiling in. With a door that goes through to the flat. So it can easily um, become part of the flat. I see the piping for the kitchenette comes through this room. It has got hot water, it does come from the house. Um, if a person walked around this side of the house here, You'd go to that pergola I showed you just now. He has these grapes. So this is the back end of the flat. So here we walk into the bathroom area. It's got a shower, a basin, and a toilet. And here's the bedroom. So it's a nice spacious bedroom. It hasn't got built-in cupboards. I see there is a little bit of damp there where the shower is. I don't think it's too critical. I think it's reasonably easy to fix. And then we've got this living area of the flat. So a little kitchen zinc was added in there. 
you probably need to add some more cupboards to make it a bigger kitchen. Um, the other choice, of course, is to take these doors out and put a garage door, a garage door back into this into this area and have it as a double garage. Choice is yours, but I mean the flat is easily rentable. I think a flat like this, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think a flat like this, if you include the gar garage area, um, it's easily going to go for 5,000 rand a month. Um, and there's the door that goes through into that other garage room. Now that you've seen this video, I'm sure that you're going to want to have, come and have a look at the house. Anyway, we look forward to seeing you in real life. Bye-bye.